All over the planet, there are people with a passion to make the absolute biggest version of any given object. Some objects really lend themselves to getting this supersized treatment, and motorcycles are one such thing. There are a lot of people out there who dedicate their lives to the pursuit of designing and building the biggest, baddest, fastest monster motorcycles the world has ever seen, and they're having so much fun doing it too. From a bike that was built with the sole purpose of crushing boring old cars, to a tractor with a split personality, here are 20 weirdest monster motorcycles in the world. Number 20. Australia's Monster Motorbike from Hell Now there's nothing shy or retiring about this motorcycle. It's absolutely colossal, brash, and really heavy, and its main aim in life is to crush cars. So there are some really massive tires out there in the world. Huge machines like mining dump trucks use the biggest tires that you can imagine, and these get discarded frequently. So what can they be used for? Well, the most obvious choice is clearly to build a motorbike of monstrous proportions and play with it. Yes, Ray Bowman is an Australian ex-stuntman and he chose a couple of old Caterpillar 992 wheel loader tires as he began his huge project. These were the biggest that would fit into a shipping container so as to be transported around the world. And that's some thinking outside the box, Ray. This bike looks completely bananas, but it is still rideable, after a fashion anyway. It's 29.5 feet long and 9.8 feet tall, and it's powered by a 5.2 liter Detroit diesel 6V53 two-stroke truck engine. So you just know that it's got some grunt. The monster motorbikes primarily used for squashing cars and caravans, since according to Bowman, this is what people want from entertainment, and he's not wrong. The show remains popular and the monster motorcycle is the star attraction. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. While this is a motorcycle that's entering the competition to be the shiniest in all of the world, or is it perhaps an art sculpture? When you look more closely, try not to get distracted by the lady. I'm concerned for her safety too. She really should keep her skin better protected when riding a motorcycle. And as for her lack of helmet, well, that's giving me palpitations. The super shiny chrome colossus is so impractical that I'm inclined to think that this is one of those concept art motorcycles, which means that it's an elaborate sculpture that someone really wishes were an actual bike, but is mainly designed to have ladies just sit on it and have their picture taken. And for that purpose, it's a raging success. But could you actually ride it? Let me know what you think vehicle or artwork. As always, comment down below using the hashtag fancy topic about what you have just seen. Now on to the next one. Number 19. Tallest Rideable Motorcycle The world's tallest rideable motorcycle was built by a dude called Fabio Reggiani in Italy back in 2012. There probably aren't that many people out there competing in the category, you know, tall motorcycles, because they may not have just caught on just yet. But don't knock it until you ride it. And my goodness, this is a big one indeed. It measures 16 feet and 8.78 inches tall, and that's measured from the ground to the top of the handlebars. It's almost 33 feet long and 8.2 feet wide. This monster motorcycle is powered by a 5.7 liter V8 motor featuring 280 horsepower. As well as being a big machine, this is also a really heavy one, weighing at over 11,000 pounds. Like other big bikes, the wheels are salvaged from massive industrial vehicles so as to give the motorcycle the stability and also the badass shape that you would expect from a monster bike like this. The world record would be completed in 2012 at a course in Italy where it was then ridden over 
over 100 meters and adjudicated by our old pals at the Guinness Book of World Records who were there to jot down all the bike's vital statistics on their ever-ready clipboards. Oh, such heroes of the measuring world. Number 18. Longest Motorcycle and obviously, when someone breaks a world record for the tallest of something, there's always some bright spark thinking, yes, but what about the longest one? So a guy in India took that challenge on, deciding to build the world's longest motorcycle back in 2014. He would end up smashing all the existing records out of the park and built a bike that's yet to be challenged in the length department. Measuring a staggering 86 feet and 3 inches long, it crushed the previous record by more than 13 feet. The other part of breaking this record is that the vehicle has to be rideable, so it was necessary that it be ridden consistently for at least 100 meters without stopping or the need for additional stabilizing. So with that all done, the boxes on the clipboard charts could all be ticked off and the measuring by the Guinness nerds could all be officially signed off on. A new and robust world record record was then created. Number 17. Big Toe Back in the 1990s, all you really needed to do to become the world's tallest motorcycle title holder was to build a bike that was just a piddly seven and a half feet tall, a baby compared to the successor to the throne. Built in 1998 and measured by the Guinness clipboard clutchers in 99, the Big Toe was a totally tricked out motorcycle with all the snazziest features, which included a massive sound system. So this bike would be built to be used, not just to break records. The internals were run by a 1975 vintage Type E Jaguar 300 horsepower 5.3 liter engine, and this powerful engine allowed the heavyweight ride to reach speeds of up to 62 miles per hour, although the creator freely admits that the bike is best ridden on short journeys and really prefers to stay in the 31 mile per hour category. So that's a bit more granny mobile than it is easy rider, but then again, you can't have it all. The other thing that happens when you get properly involved with attempting to break records is that it can cost you a few bucks. This one's likely to cost over $80,000 and took six years to build. But when you make all the parts yourself, it's going to take a long time. This isn't all about speed though. This is a labor of love in every respect. Number 16. Dream Big Yet another contender in the tallest of all the motorcycles category comes from a guy by the name of Gregory Dunham in the United States. He built a behemoth that was 11 feet and 3 inches tall to the top of the handlebars and also measures a sizable 20 feet and 4 inches long, weighing a hefty 2.948 tons. Unlike the other bikes in this category of world record attempts, the Monster Motorcycle's actually built to ride. It's equipped with an 8.3 liter V8 engine and features 500 horsepower that's connected to a two-speed transmission in order to get it moving. And it can shift. This bike has a massive top speed of 65 miles per hour, so it's actually a pleasure to ride even if it is enormous. Number 15. Tower Trike SRK Cycles Tower Trike is also in the ever-increasing gaggle of bikes that claim to be the biggest and the best. There's so much boasting in the world of big-ass bikes, isn't there? It's as much about the swagger as it is the size, after all. This Colossus weighs 11,000 pounds, although 200 pounds of that is actually accounted for by the huge metal cross on the back, and this is a design choice. But it's also a convenient roll bar, all in case an accident should befall the rider of the bike. The beast is powered by a twin-charged diesel engine, meaning that it's both turbocharged and supercharged, and all of that generates 335 horsepower. So it can actually go as well. And although it is gargantuan, this monster motorcycle is actually completely street legal. It features seat belts, mirrors, indicators, and headlights. And frankly, given the gigantic size and bulk of this thing, it would likely hold its own considerably better in an accident than any regular sized bike would ever manage. Number 14. Crazy Street Legal Trike Motorcycle 
This huge beast of a trike has been given the nickname The Rocket, and it's pretty fitting for a title for this motorcycle because it has size but it's also quick. This trike hot rod is a custom-built masterpiece of engineering and grunt. It's built to ride and not just to look at. The Rocket is totally street legal, and that makes it even more impressive when you actually see it. The custom build of this trike allowed Tom Cotterell, the man behind the rocket, to incorporate as much power as he needed to propel this road giant out of his imagination and onto the open streets. He included a 1200 horsepower Hemi V8 engine for the power and the luxury sound as well, of course. And all that trike really needs is a whole lot of custom-built suspension to make for a smooth and comfortable ride, because who isn't looking for that? Number 13. The Gunbus 410 Although this hog is basically built with Texas-sized dimensions, it was actually created in southwest Germany and is the current title holder of world's biggest running motorcycle, meaning that this is actually a bike that's in production and available to mere mortals like you and I. That's right, you can own this thing. But what does the Gunbus 410 actually have to shout about? Well, turns out it's quite a lot, actually. It's fuel-injected, 45-degree, 6,728cc, 410 cubic inch V-twin, runs through a three-speed transmission with reverse, and it puts out 523 foot-pounds of torque. Weighing in at a hefty 1,433 pounds, it's quite a chunky monster to handle, and it won't enjoy being flung around corners with reckless abandon, but then again, that's not what you're looking for in a ride like this, is it? This big beast looks every bit as good as it sounds, and is likely to be one of the most exciting things landing between the thighs of a monster motorcycle enthusiast near you any day now. It has all the big bike credentials that you're looking for, but are you big enough to handle it? Number 12. Crazy Motorbike with 450 horsepower Aston Martin V12 Engine now I know that most of us have spare engines just laying around, it's pretty standard stuff, and likely as not it's probably a classic vintage model. The standard engine to just have sitting around to use on a rainy day turns out is an Aston Martin V12. What? You don't have one of those? Well, that's weird. Apparently, one very enthusiastic bike builder had been tripping over just such an engine in his garage and then decided it would be put to much better use in a vehicle that goes vroom. So he ended up building one around it. This DIY project was spotted at the Essen Motor Show in Germany and it really did look like the business. Now, if you like that sort of thing, that is. With custom built everything and a paint job of an imaginative mind, everything about this bike is unique. The goal was originally to build something around the Aston Martin engine and harness the power of that automobile in the more compact frame of a motorcycle. The result? basically achieve that. It's chunky on account of the sheer size of a supercar engine, to be honest, but aside from the slightly bloated appearance, you simply can't fault the guy's dedication to his self-imposed challenge. And it does most definitely go vroom. Number 11. The TMC Dumont Motorcycle with an Airplane Engine now, where do motorcycle enthusiasts go after they've started stuffing massive car engines into their custom designs? How much bigger could they actually go? Where is even left to be? Well, how about the world of aviation engines? And really, why the heck not? The TMC Dumont is one of those sorts of concept bikes that's given the additional moniker of being an art bike. This euphemistic title generally means looks pretty good with the eyeballs, but it'll probably go all to hell if you try and ride it. So this may be one that needs to return to the drawing board before you'll actually see anybody driving it. And that's just as well, really, since it contains a flipping aeroplane engine. Surely the thing is going to make a right racket. 
because that engine is a 300 horsepower Rolls-Royce Continental V6, which was once part of a 1960s aircraft. Outside of the engine, this bike sits on a 36-inch wheel and looks like no other motorcycle you've ever seen before or likely ever will again, barring some sort of bizarre futuristic movie taking the look of this thing into their aesthetic. Frankly, it doesn't even look like the most practical thing to ride, and possibly doesn't even really go around corners without dumping the rider off. The sheer logistical puzzle of this one is enough to boggle the mind, although frankly I'm easily boggled. Do you think this one would actually work? Would you really want to ride it? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Number 10. The Panzer Bike The terrifying nightmare monster motorcycle known as the Panzer Bike is a hideous hybrid of wars and eras that much of Europe would like to leave in the past, rather than see a horrifying colossus of a Nazi-era motorcycle made gigantic and then driving into town. It's enough to turn the blood in your veins to ice. These off-color enthusiasts have built a Frankenstein's monster out of all kinds of picked up parts and pieces that have been left scattered around Eastern Europe in the wake of all the conflicts of the 20th century. The big bike boasts an 800 horsepower engine weighing a mighty 4.74 tons and it's hewn from a Soviet era truck. The engine is from a diesel T-55 tank, also from the Soviet Army's collection of weaponry. This bike, despite taking on the shape and the name of a German motorcycle and German tank respectively, is a machine that would be cobbled together from the parts of the Nazis' sworn enemies, the Soviets. It seems like just a little bit tasteless to build a Nazi machine on this scale, but then again, perhaps I'm missing the point altogether. It is certainly well conceived and has more of the carnival parade float feel about it than the actual menace of the Nazis rolling into town. And that is a relief. Number 9. 48-cylinder Kawasaki this insane custom-built monster bike is based on the two-stroke Kawasaki triples. Its creation is cobbled together from a series of engines that were taken from Kawasaki S1 KH250s, and it boasts a total displacement of 4,200 cubic centimeters, which apparently is a lot. Although it's billed as an improbable 48-cylinder engine, it actually has 49. The 48-cylinder is too hard to start, so the guy that created this particular monster added what he calls a donkey engine instead of a starter motor, in this case a little sub-50cc engine, which is started and then is used to start the colossal 48-cylinder engine itself. Just that in and of itself is a feat of motorcycle engineering, let alone when you add to the fact that this bike is in fact just about rideable. If you have some intense upper body strength and a whole bunch of core balance that is, the engine and the box alone weigh over a ton. So you wouldn't want a tipper in your driveway or be at a stoplight for that matter. Then again, riding a motorcycle like this one isn't for those of a flimsy or nervous disposition. They make granny mobiles for those purposes. Number eight. The biggest trike in the world, the Trichosaurus. Now it's time for another trike, and this one is obscenely large. Just how you like them. The trike was built by a Brazilian farmer who took the building process to a whole new level and built what appears to be the largest trike ever to roll on three wheels. Except that we know there are about a hundred other contenders for that particular title, and we do need to ask ourselves a couple of questions. The first being, when does a tractor stop being a tractor? And the second, what makes a motorcycle into a motorcycle and not a tractor? This farmer may have taken a tractor or two and given them a skillful and imaginative chop, the result is a massive bike which upon closer inspection has some extremely tractor-like features. I mean it even still sounds like a tractor. Now I know it is certainly impressive, it is indeed trike-shaped, and that's because it's a massive trike-shaped tractor 
or am I wrong? Let me know what you think about this farmer's extraordinary tractor, I mean trike, in the comments down below, and let's try to figure out this philosophical puzzle together. Number 7. Frogman Rocket 2 1000 Horsepower Trike this unusual trike is unlike anything we've seen thus far. It's the brainchild of British designer Tom Cotterill, who's also known as the Frogman. I see how they named this now. Yeah, that's very clever. But what does this weird looking trike have going for it? Well, let's have a little look at its vital statistics. Well, first off, it can go faster than many of the fatties we've seen so far. This chrome and aluminum shiny machine is built around a supercharged 426 Hemi, so it has a fighting chance of churning out a decent speed with a bit of exciting oomph. Uh. It puts out 1,000 horsepower and can do 0 to 100 in about 4 point seconds flat. That's fairly effective. The top speed of this creation is actually not known, as tinkering and fiddling with it will likely boost some of the trike's credentials at some point, but it's safe to say that for now, it does really go. And as well as having the stuff to go vroom, this machine also looks like something completely different as well. It sits super low with the feel of a vintage racing car, but the rider's position of a badass chopper. This unique machine is a total monster motorcycle that is, so far, although not necessarily the most enormous, perhaps the fastest and most exciting. It all really depends on what you're looking to shove between your thighs, isn't it? Something massive and chunky and really slow, or well-proportioned, handsome and exciting. The choice is yours. Number 6. Reverse Trike Rat Bike now this guy's clearly having a blast pulling donuts on his custom reverse rod trike. It looks like a lot of fun, doesn't it? I mean, the safety nerd in me's kind of freaking out that he's not wearing a helmet. Please, you should always protect your noggin, because that bike just won't look cool anymore with your brain smeared all over the place, you know? Be safe and then have fun. There are no stats that are available for this machine, but what I can tell you is that this guy goes by the name of Dennis Hom, and he built this particular beast around a Honda 750, cobbling it together with a whole raft of car parts. in order to create this rat rod trike. This was, in fact, his entry for the 2014 Rat Hard build-off at the Redneck Rumble, and whatever else, it sure is built for fun. Makes a lot of dust. I'm talking lots and lots of dust, and he'll have brown boogers for days, but it will be worth it. Number 5. Gangrena Bike over here at the Banana, we do enjoy a spot of post-apocalyptic style vehicular modification, and this is a rather snazzy Mad Max-esque example of just that. They seem to be pretty partial to this particular aesthetic in Russia as well. Perhaps it's all that desolate landscape. and abandoned nuclear facilities that give it an authentic, apocalyptic feeling. But they really do go in for these mega machines there, and they are nailing it. This particular monster motorcycle is built around the giant V8 engine, a 300 horsepower Lexus 3UZ FE V8 to be precise. The personal custom project is the brainchild of a guy by the name of Artem Boldrev. He deliberately kept the build under 3 meters in length so as it would become road legal. This guy wants to be able to ride this machine, and really, who can blame him? It does look really fun, and he's kind of gone to town with getting into character for a post-apocalyptic future. His outfit? Well, that's quite something as well. Number 4. The Tron Bike now, if your goal in life is to draw attention to yourself while also pretending to be in a science fiction movie, then this motorcycle is the answer to your prayers. 
The 2010 Disney movie Tron Legacy may not have set the world alight, but it did give plenty of people the desire to ride a Tron light cycle, and thanks to some particularly keen designers and engineers, there have been several attempts to make that fantasy into a street legal bike. And it's finally been achieved. This crazy looking motorcycle was designed by artist Daniel Simon. He created blueprints for the unique bike and then put them forward to Parker Brothers Concepts to be made into a reality. This custom motorcycle was built around the Xenon, an electric model bike with top speeds of around 70 miles per hour. The things that make this such a unique machine, and likely what draws its fans to it, are the electroluminescent strips on its rims and the super aero carbon fiber body kit that's built around its steel chassis. It looks the business, and the light show when it's in full effect is what fans have been jonesing for the whole time. The lucky few owners of this machine can enjoy such shiny futuristic features as customizable lights and colors, as well as thumbprint ignition and a built-in iPad. It all looks a bit like a fidget spinner, but don't let that put you off, especially if you've got $55,000 just burning a hole in your pocket. Number 3. Full Moon Motorcycle Concept Dreams of the Future Well, the full moon is certainly an attention grabber. In the style department, that much is certain. This concept machine is unlike anything else you may have seen before, but what does it actually do? Named for the big shiny front wheel, which is a sizable 30 inches of aluminum and carbon, the full moon hasn't entirely focused all of its efforts on looking good just at the front. This machine has a curvaceous rear end that'll leave most observers surprised, if not slightly bamboozled. It may be elegant and, depending on your personal preferences, beautiful. but it does seem just the teensiest bit impractical. Imagine the carnage if you were to encounter a speed bump. That is unlikely to happen though. This machine is not considered to be street legal, so for now, it is just about admiring and lavishing with attention on the internet. But what does this machine have going on between its wheels? Well, the master craftsmen behind this design have popped in an SNS knucklehead 1524cc engine and added a couple of custom made Acropovic exhausts just to make sure the sides of this bike live up to the promise of its outsides. Add to that the completely hidden cabling and the fact that this bike has fully automated steering and you can see why it might make it into a list of motorcycles of the future. I just wonder if it will ever get the chance to hit the open road before it becomes a motorcycle of the past. Number 2. The Dodge Tomahawk Motorcycle Now, would you just look at the size of this thing? The Dodge Tomahawk is a monstrous machine of epic proportions and is certainly not for the faint of heart. If anything, this bike wouldn't look out of place in a Mad Max movie, except that it's very shiny indeed and would need to get distinctly grubbier to fit onto Fury Road. No wonder it needs four wheels, really. The 500 horsepower engine is a Viper V10 with twin throttle bodies. which are mounted right up on the front. And this thing wails too. It has the intensely satisfying rumble of a really robust engine, and that's something you just can't beat. And frankly, all the electric bikes in the world are never going to match that feeling when a bike starts up and growls between your legs, are they? This motorcycle is so powerful that it needs four wheels just to handle it, so you can imagine the sound that it actually makes. That all being said, this machine is not available to just any Tom, Dick, or Harry. Only 10 were ever made, the original and nine replicas. They were sold for a staggering $550,000 each, and although completely drivable, they were in no way whatsoever road legal. So that's a lot of cash for an erstwhile ornament. Number 1. Bonkers Diesel Motorcycle 
It takes a whole load of passion and man hours to spend your spare time building a custom motorcycle from scratch in your garage, but it also takes a whole lot of know-how and skill. Luckily, this has been more than a hobby for Sam Turner, the creator of this bonkers diesel motorcycle. He's been working on these kind of insane designs ever since he was a child, and he began riding motorcycles at the age of eight, so this stuff just kind of flows through his veins. Just how a bike that looks like this can start life as a small Chinese diesel engine? Well, that's the magic of it, isn't it? This big beast is built around a Yanmar 840cc direct injection diesel V-twin that came out of an old cement mixer, and it's connected to a couple of turbochargers to give it that pleasing boost that you would expect. The rest of the machine consists of so many custom parts and extraordinary engineering choices that it is just utterly unique. This guy built the frame that this bike's guts rest in with various things that he just had laying around his workshop, and while it does have a distinct look and aspects of DIY, there's nothing amateur in the man's skills of designing and building his vision. It's an intimidating vehicle and is absolutely road legal. If you saw this one coming though, you might wonder what kind of dystopian future that you had slipped into. Well, that was an adrenaline-fueled dive into the weird and wonderful world of supersized custom bike builds. I feel like hopping on a hog and hitting the open road right now, don't you? Are you the next custom builder waiting to share your awesome designs with the world? And do you have a project in your garage or even in your imagination. Let me know all about it in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.